The power of a sinusoidal transverse wave. A sinusoidal transverse wave travels on a string. The string has length 8 meters and mass 6 grams. The wave speed is 30 meters per second and the wavelength is 0.2 meters. Part A. If the wave is to have an average power of 50 watts, what must be the amplitude of the wave? Part B. For the same string, if the amplitude and wavelength are the same as in part A, what is the average power for the wave if the tension is increased such that the wave speed is doubled? Okay, so the mass per unit length uh, for this string is 6 grams, which is 6 times 10 to minus 3 kilograms divided by the length 8 meters. So this is 3 over 4 times 10 to minus 3 kilograms per meter. The propagation speed is 30 meters per second and the wavelength lambda is 0 0.2 meters. So uh, let's recall the energy carried by a sinusoidal wave in one wavelength. This is E sub lambda. Uh, it is 1 over 2 mu lambda wavelength angular frequency omega times amplitude squared. And how do we remember this result? This has the form 1 over 2 mass times speed squared because omega times a is the maximum transverse speed so this has the unit of speed mass per unit length times length that is wavelength is going to be in units of mass so this has the form one half mv squared so we can easily remember this result and this propagation speed v is omega divided by k which is uh, lambda times omega divided by 2 pi. Okay, so k is 2 pi over lambda. So we can write omega as 2 pi times the propagation speed v divided by the wavelength lambda. Now the average power is the energy carried in one wavelength divided by the period of the oscillations t so this is basically 1 over 2 mu lambda divided by the period t omega square a square which is 1 over 2 mu propagation speed v omega squared amplitude squared so with this we can basically see that the amplitude should be um, 2 times the average power divided by mu v omega squared, but omega squared is 4 pi squared v squared divided by lambda squared uh, to the power one half so that's the square root of this quantity so we can see that the amplitude is if we simplify uh, this expression uh, 2 lambda square average power divided by 4 pi square mass per unit length propagation speed cube uh, square root so uh, That's the amplitude given in terms of the uh, wavelength, average power, mu and v. And if we substitute the numbers here, uh, we have 2 times uh, lambda square. So it is 2 times lambda. The wavelength was uh, 0 0.2 meters. So it is 0 0.2 squared multiplied with the power is 50 watts 
divided by 4 pi square mass per unit length we have calculated to be 3 over 4 10 to minus 3 uh, kilograms per meter so it is 3 over 4 10 to minus 3 and then we have v cube the propagation uh, speed cube the wave speed is 30 meters per second so it is going to be the cube of 30 and then finally we have everything in the inside the square root and uh, the force cancel here as you can see the amplitude of the oscillations turns out to be 0 0.0707 meters or 7.07 .07 centimeters so that's the answer to uh, part a now in part b uh, we're going to calculate the power when we change the uh, let's see what do we change amplitude and wavelength are the same the tension is increased okay and the wave speed is doubled so that the tension is increased all right so let's have our average power expression here again it is 1 over 2 mu v um, lambda over t so for omega this time i'm going to substitute v times k so it is v squared k squared amplitude squared so in other words this is 1 over 2 mu v cube uh, k squared is 4 pi squared over lambda squared k is 2 pi over lambda amplitude squared so uh, let's keep this in mind uh, for the average power now what we're doing is amplitude and wavelength are fixed the mass per unit length is fixed and therefore we see that the average power varies as the cube of the speed the propagation speed is square root tension divided by mu so it's proportional to t to the one half so if t tension is increased to 4t the propagation speed will become doubled so that's what we are doing here the wave speed is doubled which means the tension is increased by a factor of uh, 4 and what happens to the power in that case the average power since it's proportional to v cube will be eight times the average power so what we see is that the average power prime the new average power will be eight times 50 watts which is 400 watts in that case all right so this will be the answer to part b so let's see we're talking about the power of a sinusoidal transverse wave we're given the length and mass therefore mass per unit length of the wire the wave speed 30 meters per second wavelength 0 0.2 meters uh, the average power is 50 watts what is the amplitude well the average power is the energy carried in one wavelength divided by t the period so this t is the period this t is the tension okay so we have to be careful now uh, the energy carried in one wavelength has the is dimension wise looking like one half mv square it's one half mu times lambda mass per unit length times the wavelength that has unit of mass omega a maximum transverse speed uh, squared so that's one half mv squared divided by the period we get lambda over t which is the propagation speed so one half mu v omega square a square is the average power and v is related to omega and k omega over k and it's also 2 pi v over lambda so if we play with this and k is 2 pi over lambda omega is 2 pi f so we can write the amplitude as square root of 2 lambda square average power divided by 4 pi square mu v cube and therefore 
If we substitute all the given quantities here, we can find the amplitude. On the other hand, we can see that the power is related to the propagation speed, uh, not only through this explicit dependence, also through omega, because omega is equal to v times k, so it's proportional to v cube. If everything else is fixed and the propagation speed is doubled, that means the average power will increase by a factor of 8. So the answer will be 400 watts in that case.